Hey everyone, welcome back to Native Script Tutorials. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at some code explanation of what we are doing here essentially. So, what happens here is basically app.js is your entry file, entry point for Native Script to start running your JavaScript code. So, if you take a look at this, it is essentially importing some application package and starts a module called app root right that's pretty much you need to know at this point right so app root you can see is an xml file in native scripts we're gonna do layouts in xml now it, it's kind of like html only but xml actually gives you ability to create your own tags and obviously you don't really want html because it then gives a feeling of hybrid application which native script obviously is not so once we take a look at app root we see there's something called as frame now in native script navigation works on the basis of frames right so if you want to create a screen you have to create a frame so your application could consist of multiple frames or it could consist of a single frame as well this frame has a default page that means what what you see on the app as main page right and you see that we have two files here, mainpage.xml and mainpage.js. And uh, this is no coincidence that, uh, you know, these, both these files have same names. So actually name, native script actually gives it a specific name that is this JavaScript file, mainpage.js is a code behind file for your XML layout, right? So what hap what's happening here is basically you have a page, right? Then a namespace, which, which does not really matter. Um, you could pretty much uh, paste anything here. Then we have some attributes like navigating to and class, right? So you, you would be able to relate with class just like we, what we have in HTML, just regular classes to apply some CSS, right? But this navigating to is a event which would be fired when you navigate to some page as the event name suggests right navigating to so you could take a look at what navigating to does is you know whatever arguments native script passes it processes it some somehow and basically just adds it to some sort of binding context we don't really know what it is at the moment right and we're not gonna worry about that as well but for the layout part, you could see pretty much that this is self-explanatory. This creates our header of the app, right? Which, um, which is basically the header, right? Then we have something as stack layout. Now, native script out of the box provides some basic layouts for you to use. Um, I think absolute layout is one of them. Stack layout. We also have grid layout and so on and so forth, right? And similarly, you have class here, which then you use CSS to, you know, apply, do stuff and all that. Um, this is actually just global CSS file, but you could actually create a page wise CSS file as well. Then what we have is a label, which as the component name suggests is a, you know, a label on screen. And all of this is already available for you to use, right? You don't really have to write any imports or stuff because you're obviously, first of all, in XML. And second of all, native script would take care of this. Then for the button, it would create a button. We would obviously see how to customize all this stuff later on. And uh, then we have some tab property, which uses some weird syntax. Now it might be familiar to you if you're coming from Angular. Um, yeah i think yeah angular uses it and uh, react as well but react uses it in javascript only with a single curly braces but anyway so you see this this is some sort of binding or something right you're binding data one way or two way if you're familiar with that concept from angular right again with the label text we are binding a message which is a variable thing we're gonna take a look at this what this is and again some default properties saying text wrap is true which basically if you just think about it just means that your text should wrap to the next line if it's overflowing stuff like that right so the javascript file which is the code behind file for this xml page consists of all of the logic and stuff 
and uh, basically we could actually take a look at what this message and on tap is by actually going to main view model.js and you see that view model.message and on tap are the properties defined here on this observable now i know this is all all of this is overwhelming don't get confused on this i'm just trying to explain how the program which native script gave us is actually working in the next video we're going to take a look at how to simplify the heck out of it and do the same program more or less in a simpler way so that we could actually get started to grasp the concepts right so you see that we are exporting this object view model which has counter message and on tap properties and inside our code behind file we are adding the binding context something known as binding context of uh, you know you have to bear with me on this one on argu arguments.object pass to the function which returns us this view model right again as i'm saying you do not really need to worry a lot about whatever happening whatever is happening here don't really worry about that we're going to take a look at that pretty soon so this just gives you a basic intuition on how native script is working hmm, you should be able to think about well you you know you have a main frame which loads this page in xml and the same javascript name file consists of all the logic which this page uses all those bindings variables and stuff like that and that's pretty much it that's really what i want to convey in this video right so i think yeah that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one